Today I'm going to show you how to fake flawless skin. I'm with my model, Sarah Odie. I'm Emily Loftus of Loftus Says. I'm asked constantly how to have that beautiful glowing skin that Jennifer Lopez has or Charlize Theron where your skin is just glowing and effervescent. I'm going to show you how to do it today. First off, the key to everything is primer. This is a gorgeous one from Victoria's Secret. It is the Airbrush FX Illuminating Primer. So right off the bat, we're gonna put this on. As always, you can use brushes. I just think it's so much easier just to use your fingers. Can you see the difference? See how shiny and gorgeous this side is? And this is dull, no offense. <laughs> this is just the normal skin, but right off the bat, it just, it looks like you're shining and glowing. So this is a huge tip. Next, I'm gonna apply All About Eyes by Clinique. It has this little metallic ball. I actually keep this in the refrigerator. I like to wake up, put it on, eat my breakfast, and by the time I'm ready for makeup, my eyes are ready to go, I'm more awake, and the metallic steel ball just pops it open. Continuing on with the eye primer, so the tip of the day is when you put on any of your primers, that is what sets your makeup. The tip to having perfect flawless skin is to make sure you have primer. You have it on your eyelids, you have it on your skin, you have it on your lips. It's what seals in the makeup, it gives you a flawless finish. It's the canvas to make sure you have beautiful makeup. Last with primer, we're going to put on a lip primer. A lot of times people skip this step and they just think they can just use concealer or foundation and that's gonna work, but you should actually buy the product that's meant for it. Now her entire face has primer. We are ready to put on her makeup. This is the Victoria's Secret Illuminator. We're gonna put it right around the helmet so it goes cheekbones up and forehead. It's gonna soak in beautifully because our primer is already on. We're gonna bring it into the hairline. You never just wanna have your makeup sitting right here. You would actually go through the hair. This is gonna reflect light. Everything about having perfect skin is to reflect light and bounces off your cheekbones, bounces off your forehead, bounces off the bridge of your nose. It just gives the look that everything is flawless. Sarah and I are totally different colors. I am obsessed with being tan and self-tanner is my best friend. She is definitely blonde and green eyes, so we have different skin, but this really looks beautiful on everyone. Great, the last little thing, we're gonna put it just down the bridge of her nose and just to make her lips look a little bit bigger, right at the cupid's bow. Next, we're gonna bring in bronzer. Nothing crazy, we're not trying to make her a different color, we're not going the snooky route. We just want to make her look like she's just the kiss of sun. And you can see the gold flecks underneath. Just from everything we've done prior. I always like to go right under the jawline. It also makes your face look thinner because you were doing a line underneath. Perfect. And another little hint, I like to just bring it right through the collarbone just to keep it continuous so you don't look like a head on a different body. <laughs> The next step, I grab my physician's formula and I go straight through, once again, through the helmet. I just keep going over and over that same area because that is where the light is reflected. Um, what I love so much about this product is that it can be used for many, many purposes. I use it many, many times for eyeshadow. So close your eyes for a second. We're just going to just pop a little bit on your eyes just to bring it through. And once again, bring it through the chest. So you can see the light reflecting right through. The most important thing of all is this new brilliant thing I found from Victoria's Secret. It is eye brightening pen. I just found this product about two weeks ago. So I put it on my hand and I mix it up with my concealer, which this is from Neutrogena, which I adore. The number one thing with concealer is when you do it underneath your eyes, you pick one that's about two shades lighter than your normal color. I mix this on my hand, and you'll see right off the bat what a difference this will make. If you're doing a smoky eye or any type of eye makeup, your eyeshadow is going to fall underneath, and then you're going to have dark spots. So it's best to do it very, very last. 
All the Hollywood starlets are doing this look from Charlize Theron, Jayla, which I mentioned earlier, Reese Witherspoon. You just see everyone with this flawless, gorgeous, beautiful skin. Then we add blush. This is from e.l.f. You can get this at any store, Dwayne Reed, Rite Aid. This is a really bright, bright pink. If you see this in the store, you might think, oh, that's shocking, it was way too bright, but this is exactly what you need for this look. We're just gonna tap, 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 and go up the cheekbone. See the difference between one and two? And it's amazing how young this makes everyone look. You don't have to, but I always like to add lip gloss for the final touch. We're just gonna dab it on. Definitely don't do lipstick, definitely lip gloss. Everything is supposed to be shiny. Definitely skip powder. You don't want anything to be matte. You want it to be dewy and bright and happy and reflecting light the whole time. A recap of how to perfect flawless skin. We're gonna prime the entire face, primer on the eyes, on the lips, and on the skin. Next, we do the under eye serum from Clinique. Then we do bronzer all through the helmets and shimmer straight through cheekbones, forehead, down the bridge of the nose, illuminator, Everything that'll be shiny through the helmet, pop of blush, and lip gloss. And this is how to fake flawless skin. Thank you so much to my gorgeous model, Sarah Odie, for the Fashion Group International for having us, and I'm Emily Loftus of Loftus Says.